Although the creators of any TV show will make sure that the content is appropriate for their show's target audience, every once in a while there are scenes or entire episodes that scare, offend, or disgust audiences. Sometimes this might be an accident, while other times it might be provocation or simply cultural differences when shows air in different countries. So prepare your jaw to drop in surprise, shock, or disgust as we show you 9 TV moments that took things too far. Pokemon is one of the most popular franchises in the world, but that doesn't mean that there haven't been controversies surrounding it. In fact, one of the most famous banned episodes of a television show in recent memory was an episode of Pokemon titled Electric Soldier Porygon. This episode made headlines worldwide after it caused seizures of hundreds of children in Japan, which is why it was never even aired in any other country. The episode tells the story of Ash traveling into cyberspace to meet a prototype digital Pokemon called Porygon, and during the climax of the episode, he escapes in the back of Porygon while there is a blinding flash of alternating red and blue lights. This very scene caused hundreds of Japanese viewers to have seizures, with a total of 685 viewers being hospitalized after suffering seizures when watching the scene. Out of these 685, 535 recovered in the ambulance on the way to the hospital, while 150 had to stay in the hospital and be treated, and two children even had to remain in the hospital for over two weeks. In addition to people suffering seizures, there were another 12,000 children who reported symptoms of mild illness after watching the scene, such as headaches, nausea, and mass hysteria. Unsurprisingly, this episode holds the record for the most epileptic seizures caused by a television show, which is not exactly something to be proud of. While the Pokemon episode went too far in terms of its flashing lights that caused seizures, the episode The Legend of Dratini crossed the line in a completely different way. There were a number of moments that caused controversies as they weren't really suited for the show's young audience, but it's very hard to understand what writers were thinking when they came up with the episode. First of all, the episode's main villain had two pistols that he kept pointing in Ash's face, that is, when he wasn't using them to fire at other characters in an attempt to kill them something you definitely don't want to see in a kid's show. Then Team Rocket showed up, and for some reason they were carrying guns as well. But the strangest scene was probably the one that featured Meowth dressed up as Adolf Hitler, a moment that didn't only go too far but was also never explained. South Park is well known for constantly pushing the batteries and creators have taken things too far more than once. It seems like the creators enjoy offending as many people as possible, and most of the time viewers watch the show feeling disgusted, uncomfortable, and entertained at the same time. So it's hardly surprising that this show made today's list. There have been numerous controversial episodes over the years, but one episode was especially scandalous. Episode 201 in this one, as well as the previous episode, the creators decided to depict Prophet Muhammad, despite the Muslim religion specifically prohibiting any depiction of the Prophet Muhammad in any way, shape, or form. There have been a number of cartoonists who have been criticized for doing just that, and some of them received death threats and even bombings as a result. The South Park creators eventually decided to censor out the Holy Prophet in the episodes in order to avoid any further issues. Throughout this whole ordeal, We've all wanted to show things that we weren't allowed to show. But it wasn't because of some magic goo. It was because of the magical power of threatening people with violence. The 90s cartoon Ren and Stimpy was one of the first cartoons created for adults and it was well known and well loved for its dark humor, its weirdness, and the controversies it caused. There was one episode, however, that took things too far, even for the most of its diehard fans, and that was Man's Best Friends. In this episode, a man adopts Ren and Stimpy and basically abuses them, making them disobey his orders just so he can punish them for it. Later, he teaches them how to defend their master, first showing them how to attack by giving them a canoe paddle and telling them to attack him. However, Stimpy certainly crosses the line in this scene as he nearly beats the man to death and as a result, the episode was banned due to extreme violence. But even though it was initially banned from Nickelodeon, the episode did eventually air following the creation of a new segment titled Adult Party Time. 
Showtime's hit series Dexter was one of the darkest shows ever, and for many seasons, it was hard to imagine that this show about a serial killer could get even darker and grosser than it already was. And yet it did, as creators decided to include a little incest, which was a step too far for many of the viewers. Towards the end of the show's run, Dexter, a Miami police forensics expert who also murdered bad guys, had done pretty much anything anyone could have imagined, and he had evaded capture so many times it was getting ridiculous. Despite constantly being surrounded by other experts, including his sister Deb, a talented police detective, the lead character's true nature was hardly ever suspected by anyone, and it felt like the show needed to take it up a notch during its final episodes. And so Deb finally found out about her brother's bloody hobby right around the time she also realized she had romantic feelings for him. While technically, a relationship wouldn't have been totally disgusting, since you know Dexter was adopted, it still felt super weird since they had grown up as a brother and sister. Many fans thought this episode was the worst one of the entire series, while showrunner Scott Buck found it a lot weirder that people were so offended by this plotline. Talking to Entertainment Weekly, he said, I find it kind of interesting that people are uneasy about Deb's love towards her brother that on a show about serial killers, it's the idea of love that makes people more uncomfortable. HBO hit series Game of Thrones was famous for showing a lot of skin and extremely graphic and realistically rendered violence, regularly depicting people getting slaughtered in horrific and sickening ways. While The Red Wedding was definitely one of the bloodiest and grimmest episodes, it was a scene from The Mountain and The Viper that made viewers even more uncomfortable. In this episode, the loyal and likable Oberyn Martell was killed by Gregor Clegane, aka the Mountain, when fighting on behalf of Tyrion Lannister in his trial by combat. It certainly didn't come as a surprise that the Mountain won, the way he defeated his opponent was unforgettable as he took Oberyn's head in his hands, stuck his thumbs into the eye sockets, and pushed until the head exploded, with blood and gore everywhere. This scene was too much even for some of the regular Game of Thrones viewers, with many fans on Twitter wondering if they would ever be able to forget this disgusting image. Man in the High Castle is one of the most controversial television shows of recent years, as it depicts a parallel universe where Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan won the Second World War, and the United States is occupied by both nations. However, it wasn't any of the show's episodes that caused the biggest controversy, but rather the ad campaign promoting the show prior to its release, as Amazon took a pretty bizarre approach. They actually plastered the inside of the New York subway system with Nazi imagery and Imperial Japanese symbols, which certainly made sure that pretty much everyone noticed the advertisement, but in hindsight, it wasn't exactly the best idea. One of the campaign's most disturbing images was placed inside an actual train, where the American flag was replaced by a Nazi version complete with a Nazi eagle, the Reichsadler instead of the stars. And although the ad campaign did technically follow the guidelines for subway advertisements, it was completely out of line in the eyes of many, with Mayor Bill de Blasio for example calling it offensive to Holocaust survivors and World War II veterans. The Simpsons just went into their 31st season, and this long-running show has had more than two dozen three-part Halloween specials at this point. However, while they are usually mostly funny and only a little scary, there was one special that might have taken things a little too far. The Treehouse of Horror 18 closing part, which aired a couple of years ago, was called everything from one of the series' most disturbing episodes to horrifying and chilled. In this part of the episode, Homer is left alone and accidentally cuts off one of his fingers, which then falls onto a hot grill. As you might have expected, Homer eats it and finds himself to be quite delicious. Fans might have been able to tolerate that much, but what follows is several minutes of Homer systematically dismembering, cooking and eating himself until only a very small part of him is left. This is, without question, the worst moment of our entire marriage. What about- This is worse. This is then cooked up by celebrity chef Mario Batali and served to hungry Springfieldians, including Bart, who eats a hunk of Homer's brain. Most viewers found this pretty disgusting to watch, but there were also a few fans who thought it was both the most uncomfortable and funniest treehouse of horror segment in a long, long time. The X-Files was definitely one of the scariest shows, famous for its mysterious, eerie, and often gruesome stories and subjects. However, the episode Home took the horror too far for many of the show's fans. 
In the episode, the FBI agents went to a rural farm in order to investigate an infant death, and what they found there was really disturbing. Inside the farmhouse were several deformed farmers who hadn't left the house in more than 10 years. In addition to that, the agents then found out that the brothers of the household had been having incestuous sex with their mother and fathered multiple deformed babies. But it gets even worse because the mother was a quadruple amputee with no limbs. Just hearing about this episode probably made most of you feel pretty queasy, and many X-Files fans also thought that this episode certainly crossed the line and that this story was a little too much even for X-Files. However, despite many critics understandably calling this episode sick and twisted, it still received surprisingly positive ratings from viewers. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.